1947 Dodge seven passenger sedan. You might hear some people call them a limo. This particular car, kind of interesting history to it. Uh, started out in Canada as a Canadian car uh, where it was purchased along with its sister car and was used by a funeral home for hauling families and family members. So that's kind of a little bit of where the car came from. It's also had some interesting history between then and now. This car is actually a movie star. It's been in a couple movies, one of them being The Hessen Affair. And again, it was with its sister car in that particular movie. You can see a scene where they're pulled up right next to each other. Pretty neat old 47 Dodge, powered by the flathead inline six. And that is paired with the fluid drive transmission. I've driven this car personally, Flu fluid drive transmission Works great, nice and smooth. Actually a nice car to drive. Car is pretty darn solid, as you can see up and down it. Little over 66,000 original miles on it. In recent years, it has had some brake work done to it and some upkeep, so car is drivable. If you'd like to check out the still pictures, go ahead and you know look under the hood, check out the interior, the underside. The still pictures can be, can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Or if you look in the description down below this video, you're going to see a link. You can click on that, take you right to it. Feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. Also, 507 386 1726. And you see the bright work. It shows its age, but very original. Very nice shape as far as the grill goes. And bezels around the lights, trim pieces. It's kind of a great looking car the way it would have came back in. 47. Uh, we do have the fender skirts on there. You can see pictures with or without, I believe, on our website. See it's riding on wide whites. They were put on in recent years. Take a look at the interior. Retains a stock dash. As you can see, it was a radio delete car. Did not come with a radio. was not needed when it was ordered and went to the funeral home. Since then, it has made its way down into the States and is looking for a new home. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. And we can sure assist you with getting this car transported to where you would like it to be delivered. Now, I mentioned seven passenger before. So there are a couple jump seats. They're not in the car right now. They are in the trunk and are included with the sale. Uh, probably pop those fender skirts off where you to put in the trunk if we ship it to you. As you can see, rear seat and where the jump seats would have been have been removed. But again, they are included in the sale and they are in the trunk. Once again, check out in the description down below. You're going to see a link you can click on. That'll take you to our website, uniqueclassiccars.com, where you can check out the still pictures. Feel free to call us, 507-386-1726. If you have any questions... Yeah, take a look up and down the passenger side of that. Very straight car, not full of dings, nicks, scratches. Let's go ahead and open this up so you can check out the interior. I tried the wipers out a little bit ago. High and low speeds both worked on the wipers. Appeared all the gauges worked. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. You can see and hear how smooth this thing runs. Here's that somebody's put some reupholstery over the, the seat. These are not stains. That's shadowing how the lights are reflection through the glass. Rear seat, headliner. Headliner appears to be in decent shape. Let's go ahead and start this up. Amazing how smooth this car runs. See so how easily it starts. Again, gauges up here, you can see the oil pressure came up. Temperature, I'm sure, will come up with as the engine warms up. And as you can see, the fuel gauge is starting to come up also. Amps. I don't know if you can see the odometer on there, but it's 66,436. That is believed to be original miles through the ownership history of this car. Again, fluid drive transmission. Like I said, wipers worked on low and high. That fluid drive transmission does work well. 
personally driven it. I'm going to uh, go ahead, hop out, slip around back behind here so you can hear this run. See, it's not smoking. Great sounding car. Nice and smooth. I'm going to go up here, pause this video a second, and we'll pop that hood so you can check out the engine bay and see how that looks. All right, here you go. First of all, you got to love how these hoods work. Back in the day, it's got her popped. As you can see, pretty stock looking underneath there. There's that flat head inline six. This is still a six volt system, obviously. Look at how smooth that runs. Uh, all the body numbers, model numbers, VIN number, of course, and there is a clear Minnesota title, matches the VIN on the car to the title. Not a problem titling this vehicle. And registering it in your state, driving it, and enjoying it. All right, I'll take a look at the passenger side here. Amazing how smooth that runs. So there you have it, 1947. Seven passenger Dodge. Original mile car, believed to be. And again, one more time, phone number 507 386 1726. Still pictures. Take a look down in the description of this video. You can click on that link. Take you right to the still pictures at our website, uniqueclassiccars.com. We do consider trades, financing is available. And of course, we can assist you with getting this car transported to where you're located. Look forward to hearing from you.